Okay, so we got in problem 20, we got frogs. Um, a wildlife biologist examines frogs for genetic trait. He finds that this trait is usually found in one in every eight frogs. So he collects and examines a dozen frogs, and the frequency of the trait is not changed. What's the probability he finds the trait? Okay. So. Here's what we got. We got this trait in one of eight frogs. So that means the probability of the trait equals one in eight, which is 0.125. Okay? So problem A says, what's the probability that it's in none of the frogs? Okay? So we're looking at none of 12 frogs. Okay? So that means that the trait does not occur 12 times. So it would be 0.875 to the 12th, which is 0.201. Okay, there's only one way that can happen. I don't have to do, you know, if I want to do 12, choose 12, I could, but there's only one way that can happen. Okay? And then problem B says, in at least two frogs. Okay? So, at least two means that I would add the probability, let's say I had the probability of 0 plus probability of 1 plus probability of 2 plus dot 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 probability of 12. Well, at least 2 is, and that all adds up to 1, right? So that's at least 2 is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Add those probabilities together. Okay? Well, I don't want to add all 10 of those probabilities together. I'm going to take 1 minus the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1. Well, that's 1 minus binome CDF, 12 frogs, 0.125 is the probability they have the trait, and up to 1. So let's see what that looks like. This should have been 0.125. That's 0.453. Okay, so that's 0.453. I put that in wrong. Okay, C. <coughs> three or four frog, frogs have the trait. Okay, so the probability of three or four. So this is 12 choose three. 0.125 cubed. 0.875 for the 9. Or add 12 choose 4. 0.125 to the 4th. 0.875 to the 8th. Okay, so that's how that would look. Look, let me zoom that out a little bit. So, <coughs> these are both binome PDF applications. So we're going to do 3 or 4. So here we go. We're going to do binome PDF. Okay, we're going to do 12, comma, 0.125, comma, 3, plus final PDF, 12, comma, 0.125, comma, 4. And if I do those out, I add those two together, I get about 0.171. Okay. And then D, that one says uh, no more than four frogs. So what does no more than mean? It means the probability of none, one, or one, or two, or three, or four. Well, that's simple. That's binome CDF. So we're just going to do binome CDF. And we're going to knock that out. So let's see what that looks like. Binome. Comma .4, and that comes out to 
59. Now, we want to put some kind of nomenclature here, so we're going to say okay. Uh, we're going to do 12, choose 0, 0.125 to the 0, 0.875 to the 12th, plus dot dot dot. I'm going to go 12, choose 4, 0.125 to the 4th, 0.875 to the 8th. All right, that's what I would put down for nomenclature, and then I, I did it in the calculator. It's 0.989 is the answer. So we're good to go.